line with blazing speed from two yards deep. And run out of bounds up around the 24. The end of the lane. Bunch of seniors. McAfee with a low bouncing kick. Dwayne Harris breaks a tackle. Harris out to the 40-yard line. Good kickoff drives the vine three yards deep. He'll bring it out. Spun down at the 24-yard line. Well, they got to be a little. This is a very important possession for the West Virginia offense. Sanders trying to get to the outside, cuts it back to the 30 31 yard line. They will start from the. They have dominated this game against favored West Virginia. Sanders on the kick return for the Mountaineers out to the 35. Get themselves some timeouts. Hokies have struggled in close games since 2001. Yep. Of course, a lot of those games have been in conference. Lewis waiting for it at the 14 yard line. Lewis almost ran into a team up and then runs into two opponents. Taken down at the 25 yard line by Dalvin Mack, the first man there for ECU. Alabama, they send he, along with Williams back. And the kick by Dodge it is down the center of the field, and Williams will retreat to the one. Straight ahead, 15. Tries to get through traffic, and of course, scouts are not publicly allowed to talk about juniors, but I had one tell me last week that they think Steve Slate is special. The real deal, huh? Slayton gets just one this time to the 35. Galvin Mack on the first and goal. Collington going to stay in the game. And he'll get it. And he gets a couple of yards early, so it's key for this East Carolina defense to hold this offense to a three and out, try and get them to punt it. It's going to pick up first in playing time tonight because of the injury situation, trying to make the most of it. Keenum now cutting up, penalty markers down, and he gets down to close to the 40-yard line. That's going to be a Houston will have to now set up shop at the 12-yard line, so that, that's about a nine-yard difference. Once again, Blake Joseph back at quarterback, handing it off to Aldridge there. Aldridge has got running back to the play. First down from the 34-yard line. Dumps it out to Tarek Williams on the right side. Brought down by a host of tackle, a defensive end to run down a guy with 4-1 speed. So now they got three down men. Fred Wilson showing blitz. Moves back, and now Joseph is wrestled down by Zach Slate. Joseph gains about three there. Slate on the stop. Getting some help as well from Delvon Mack. I like this. Great Joseph. Out of the shotgun. Man goes in motion. And over the middle, he finds Jerron Harvey. And Harvey is close to a first down before he's wrestled down. Saw with East Carolina's offense last week at Memphis, they would have mixed up the pass and run very effectively. Morris throwing, looking for Slate, broken up out there. Dalvon Mack coming in and breaking up to play them here tonight. But they just don't get the garden variety five yards in illegal motions and things like that. They get 10 and 15 yards, and those are the ones that really hurt. Second and 15, Mo Turi, the receiver. Down close to the 30-yard line, Dalvon Mack in the stop. Kip Hurts, holding his, holding his defense can hold on, and now Warren Sam in the quarterback. Sam running, and he's brought down after a game of about five. Another huge third down play for UTEP, and Hurts is right on the mark, and he finds Warren Sam on the right side. 
This time it's Webb out of the shotgun. He's got his receiver, Anderson, and he's got the first down across the 30-yard line. So Webb with his story here at the 49-yard line, 41-6 ECU, less than six minutes to play in the game. Working out of the shotgun, Webb finds his receiver over there, Dexter Barnett. And Barnett only picks up Eric Hewitt coming up and making a great hit. This East Carolina defense, you got to give it to him. You know, putting 41 points up on the board, obviously, you know, you look at the offense and say they've done a great job, but I think, you know, this offense really had great field position all night. <laughs> Now you see Tim Tebow win the Heisman as a sophomore, and Herschel Walker really should have won the Heisman as a freshman. Back then they said he couldn't win it as a freshman. That was the only thing that kept him from picking up the trophy. D.J. Yep. Harper on the carry. Tough running right at the line of scrimmage, though, and we go down to Janine. Well, Terry, you and David both have mentioned Skip Holtz talking about the focus of his team here at East Carolina. I'm on the side. So he's going to miss a lot of spring football because of that. Second down and 10. Selfo under center. Little draw play to Forte. And that's the thing about this Matt Forte. He hits the hole so fast and then it takes two or three guys to bring him down. Well, you know, the knock on him. We're living in your world here. No question. <laughs> They set up now in a power formation. Blackwell, they're the fullback, and the give is to Matt Forte on the right side. And there's nothing to do with whoever may be in the backfield, out of the backfield. Stay away from that pirate head. That's the second time they've turned over the football there. Once, of course, on a fourth and short yardage situation. The defense trying to hold here. Second down and five. The current drive, seven plays, 75 yards. Cell phone under center, handing it off to Forte over the left side. Met there. Talk to you about that, too, as we get things underway here. And East Carolina taking it away. Austin Smith has already brought it back. 89 yards for a touchdown. Looking for a seam and out to the 29. But to come to this stadium, what you've done the, to run the football for this East Carolina team, we talked about the depth on East Carolina's defensive line. East Carolina also deep at the running back situation, so rather than put Norman Whitley out of the field and, and risk another injury, they put in Brandon Simmons and it pays off. Avery returns second to the scoring drive. But East Carolina been able to strike very quickly and put 34 points on the board. Avery and Aldridge are the deep men. This will be Aldridge from his own seven-yard line. Aldridge gets across the 20 before he's dragged down there. Out close to the 40-yard line on every every possession on kickoff return. On kickoff coverage, the dirty dozen, as uh, Skip Holtz likes to call him. And why he calls him the dirty dozen, he wants for the Pirates, and now they lead 7-3. Kicking it off is Ben Hartman. Back to receive it is Tuyo. Ade Tuyo at the 15, across the 20, the 25, and across the 30-yard line. So it didn't look like there was much there, but the big pass return by Ade was big passing yards. So East Carolina, once again, very balanced offense, and they're up 14 to 6. Ben Hartman kicks it off. Ade Tuyo from his own 10. Here comes Tuyo across the 25-yard line, getting down before he stopped around the 20. Guard. They redeemed themselves and get Chris Johnson right back to the field. A short kick, and Tulane is going to have good field position for their first possession of the fourth quarter. Tuyo Rook. Down 14 points now here as we get deep into the third quarter. Very important for UCF to answer. They'll kick this one away. Francis returned the opening kick for a score. Here he is from the five. Takes it out to the 22 yard line, 17 yard return that time for Curtis Francis. Back to work now for Kyle Israel. Job on that. That's a little bit faster so I can deliver the football. Matt Dodge, 51 yard punt, first time. Another, another pretty good punt. Nice. Rivers inside the 30. Penalty flag comes soaring in. And Rivers gets. Clean that time. I'll tell you what, I got a chance to talk to him a little bit last night at dinner, and he seems extremely excited to be back home. No place like home. Here's Vaughn Rivers on the kick return. Another good punt by Dodge. And Rivers up to the 28. And just before ESPN said, they're seeing it a little bit differently than we are. Already five three and outs on six offensive possessions for East Carolina today. And the other possession ended in an interception. 
Here's Vaughn Rivers on the punt return. Flag down. Rivers, though, is not. 